Hello everyone, this is Dr. Maggie Lysick from SFA Art Education and I want to just talk to you a little bit about um, our situation with the COVID-19 and um, educating remotely and um, also taking care of our creative expression. So uh, this series of videos for portraits um, are going to be um, uh, instructional for you so that um, you can begin to draw uh, yourself as sort of a journaling exercise. And we're going to have other uh, um, videos with other tutorials, but I'm going to teach you a series of art skills using different mediums, so in case you have those, and, um, and to help you to sort of learn, but also by um, journaling your own uh, self-portrait, you are documenting how you see yourself day by day. And um, we know that this is an important thing because artists have been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years. And we also know that it is still popular because of how popular selfies are and how they can show uh, our aspects of our life and aspects of ourselves and how we see ourselves in a way that words or um, other methods really cannot convey. And so um, in the videos, what you'll see is this is the, the um, final product. But what you'll see is instruction on how to go about drawing a portrait and some just very basic skills that anyone can do. For people who say, well, I can't draw, um, that's actually not true. If you can write your name, then you can draw. Whenever we draw a letter, we're actually symbolizing a sound. And those symbols change as we add those letters together. So a C might sound one way, and then when we add a, uh, an H to it, it sounds completely different. And so what we're going to be doing is learning skills um, to symbolize how we feel. And a lot of times with drawing, uh, maybe even a little more so than writing, the things that we feel and the things that are going on with us that are important to us come out in the way that we draw ourselves. And so if we draw a self-portrait every day or if we just draw something every day, the things that are going on with us um, will uh, begin to make more sense and we can start to um, process some of the emotions and um, problems that we have. You can see that in these examples, I have not done perfect drawings. I have, there are some serious problems with the way I've drawn these things. And that's okay. It really is okay. I, um, when I'm doing this, I was talking the whole time. So I was actually using both sides of my brain. My, my right side of my brain was very busy focused on what I was drawing, but you can see that sometimes when I was talking or when I was thinking quite a bit about what I was saying, things didn't come out very well. These are, all of these examples are in the tutorial that, the two, the three tutorials that follow. After this tutorial, we will, I will um, begin to do more and more self-portraits and I'll do them in different uh, mediums. Now, the reason why you'll see these on paper bags, and these are actually uh, grocery bags, is um, for a long time now I have I have uh, collected these and I've made books out of them. And um, but what I'm trying to show is that um, you can use all kinds of things that you really didn't think that you could um, in order to um, draw. Hopefully, especially the um, the artists in the crowd will have a sketchbook of some sort. Uh, and you can see also that these uh, these side panels of the um, 
of the bag can be used for all of your um, sort of drawing things out. So this is where I was trying out how I would draw someone with short hair. And this is someone who had curly hair. And so in these cases, what I was talking about um, was that they um, would have to draw ears. Whereas in this particular case, I could get away with not drawing ears, which sometimes can be hard because I have my hair coming over and hiding it. Um, when you're drawing your self-portrait, if you think about the things that are going on with you, you can express those things with images. And while it's not like reading a sentence um, and you don't have an understanding of what is being expressed in that way, there is a way of understanding things um, that is uh, goes straight to the heart. And there, there are things that can't really be expressed very well in words, but can be expressed perfectly in images. So here you have a, an image of me. Um, I drew this without looking in a mirror. Um, but you know, I see my face every day. And so I can remember basically um, how to use those skills uh, for portrait drawing to make it look kind of like me. And then I also included some stars and a moon, and that is expressing my desire to be outside, to be not maybe trapped in my house anymore. Um, while I'm happy to be home to keep myself and the people I love safe, from a virus that is extremely contagious. Sometimes I just want to be outside and not be in my house. And so I drew this desire very simply. I just represented that desire by the idea of going at stepping outside and looking up into the night sky and seeing stars and the moon. When you go to do these tutorials, remember that you are learning skills. So anything that is a skill is going to improve every single time that you do it. So um, I encourage you to watch these videos and draw along with me. And that is the adults as well. So adults and children should practice this uh, way of um, being creative during this time of um, quarantine and um, sheltering in place. And, um, and so uh, practicing these skills that you're learning on these videos, uh, you will be able to express yourself in new and, um, and fun ways. So let's give it a try and you can go to the portrait video one and that will give you the very basics of drawing a portrait.